Hi guys, love me here, and I wanted to come and share some happy mail that I got from Elvia from K&E Crafty Shop, and this will also be a VR for Elvia's challenge that she has over on her channel. So first, I'm going to show you guys the happy mail. I got this mail a while ago, and um, I just thought since I was going to do a VR, i go ahead and show the um, happy mail that I got from her. A couple of months ago, Elvia hosted a stamped image challenge. And for all of us that participated, we got to choose um, images from some of the other participants. So here are some of the images that I chose. So I want to show you guys this. Okay, I'll be back and I'll show you guys the rest. Okay, guys, here are the rest of the images that I chose to receive. And I was so happy when I received this package. Like I said, I received it over a month ago and life just got busy and I didn't make a response or reply or show that I had received this um, but I thought since I was going to be doing a VR for her her new challenge I thought this was a perfect time to share my uh, happy mail and I can't wait to use these images and then she also sent this pretty IC card and it has some information about her on the back and then she also sent this little cute little note and I'm gonna reuse this um, packaging alright guys so this is it for my happy mail I'll be right back to show you guys my project and do my VR for her new challenge okay guys this is my VR for Elvia's challenge and again her YouTube channel is k and &E Crafty Shop and this challenge was for ATCs or they're also named artist trading cards but they call them ATCs for short this is my first time ever doing an ATC so it was fun it was different and it was very exciting and I hope Elvia likes what I made for her really quick I'm gonna go over some of the rules I will put the link to her video for this challenge down below this challenge started on July 20th and it runs up until September 21st. You have to be 18 years or older. You have to be a subby and this is open for US and international subscribers. You have to make an ATC and the size has to be a two and a half by three and a half. And then on the other side, um, you really didn't have to decorate it, but that's up to you. But on the other side, of um, so you're gonna make like a separate ATC because she's gonna the one that you decorate she's gonna put into her journal but like I said go down to the link below check out her video and it will give you all of the um, details but on the other part of the ATC you're gonna put your date of birth your address favorite colors favorite sweets and I think there was something else but I can't quite remember and the winner will receive twenty five dollars into their pay into their PayPal. So, without further ado, I'm going to show you guys the materials I used for my ATC, and then I'm going to show you my ATC. So, I used one of the E's up here for her name. I used some um, pieces of this paper pad, and this paper pad is the one I got from Walmart for three dollars and it's natural expressions and that's all the information so I use this one right here and then I also used this paper right here I don't know if you guys can really see it but it has some um, writing I don't know if that's focusing I use this fabric washi that I got from the uh, Dollar Tree I've had this for a long time I use these Stampin' Up scissors. I use these flat back adhesive pearls. And I got these from, I think Walmart. Yeah, I got these from Walmart. And then I use this Fiskars Multi Punch and Emboss Punch. So you can use it on the corners of your paper. I use this stamp, which I got from Packetans. I use this purple ink pad. And then this copper metallic ink pad. All right, guys, so now I'm going to show you 
my ATC. This is the one that you see in front is the one I started on, but I didn't like how it came out. So I redid it. But this is my ATC for Elvia's challenge. Bring it closer. And I was so excited and just with how it came out. I'm really happy with how it came out. Like I said, this is my first time ever doing an ATC. So, yes. And as you can see on the corners, like I said, I used that Fiskars um, corner punch and it also embossed this image on the corners. And I got this... Um, I got this Fiskars thing. I got it at our local, uh, our Marks, which is a discount store. So this was really cheap. It was like less than, um, less than uh, two dollars, I believe. So, and bring it a little closer. And then I did use a little bit of glitter glue and put it on the um, those flowers. But this is my ATC, and then I tried to distress the um edges with those two ink mark uh ink pads but this is my atc i'm happy with how it came out and yes so this is my entry for her challenge so please go check out Elv elvia's challenge you have plenty of time to join and let her know that you came from my channel okay see you guys later bye